Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another new season of our non-league to legend save and today we're here with season number seven's opener away from home against Bournemouth. Now since you were last with us we've had a, a nice little transfer window we've lost a few players as you can see from our finances here we've got 78 million pounds and uh, we've still got quite a hefty chunk of transfer budget available but yeah our projection is still going down but it's going to get better it's going to stop dropping as dramatically but for now it is still dropping and it's just the way it is now I will show you my new signings. We have obviously remained as Norwich manager, as you can see clearly on the screens right now. So if I go to transfers and transfer history, we've still got £32 million in the bank. Now, we'll go through the departures first. We'll go through our released players. I think we forget to do this quite a lot. We let Eddie Gnor go. I mean, he didn't have a work permit. It was not worth keeping him around. Apparently, Lincoln can get him. If they get him on a work permit, I'll be completely amazed. But yeah, he was no good to have around. Matt Doherty, he was just aging. Nobody really wants him. Does anybody want him? QPR and Doncaster were looking at him. He was just aging. It was time to let him go. 46 rated from our staff now, from our scouts. And then just a load of other youth players. We've also brought in a new director of football. Well, I'll show you him in a moment. We let Valon Berisha go. We said we were going to let him go at some point, but Rangers came in with a bid for £9 million. And to me, it just seemed like a no-brainer to let him go. He was on ridiculous wages at the club, and off he went. David Culchins is gone, uh, finally. He was he was confirmed to leave a long time ago, but he's gone for £1.1 million. Norwich lost a million pounds on him, but it was not worth keeping him around on the 30 k on a week he was on. This is the one that hurt me, Scott Pollock. Scott Pollock left, left us for £20.5 million, which was a release clause that I didn't know about. And, uh, yeah, he's now left us. It's very disappointing. He is playing Premier League football now for Fulham, but I would have very much liked to keep, keep him around the place. But some stupid release clause they had on him meant they lost £6 million on him. But he is gone, and we're building without him now. Cupid's gone out on loan to Derby County, just wasn't good enough to be around at the place. Andreas Velka has gone, I mean, you might have known of him, I mean, he played a couple of games for us at the start of the season, but yeah, I was never going to cut it. Dan Glaze has gone for £2.5 million, raising to £3.5 million, just wasn't cutting it for us. Todd, Cod, uh, Todd Cantwell, I was going to call him Cod Tantwell, I mean, yeah, just completely mix it up. That's a good thing to do. That's what happens when you record a video at quarter to one in the morning. But <laughs> I'm trying. So yeah, Todd Cantwell's gone to Leeds, three and a half million pounds. Fabio Del Guedes, we'll get to him in a minute, but he's gone on loan to Huesca. Alejandro Pozo has gone to Burnley Town. Is it Burnley Town? I think it's Burnley Town. He's gone there for eleven million pounds. He forced the move. I wanted to keep hold of him, but he forced the move to Burnley, nothing I could have done about it, and off he went. Carl Sheridan went out on loan, Sam Byron's finally left the club. Uh, Sean Brennan's gone out on loan to Coventry, our former side, and Char Charlie Gregory's gone out on loan to Tramir, our other former side. Now, let's go to our ins. We've got Fabio Del Guadis, who I said we were just going to get to. He's £16,000 he signed, us f signed for us for. One and a half star current ability. I've lost his potential ability. Hold on, I'll find it. Scout report. Uh, he's four and a half star potential ability, actually. He's a very good little player. 18 years old. Worth having around the place. Gualim Diallo, who we signed from ASEC Mimosas. Ivorian, 19-year-old, under-20 international, 2.5-star current ability, 4-star potential ability. He's going to be definitely a player for the future. I do like the look of him. Gustavo Rosalde, 18-year-old, Paraguayan, under-20 international, 2-star current ability, 5-star potential. I very much think he's going to be our first team keeper this season because... Basically, the more he plays, the better he'll get. And I think the best thing to do is throw him straight in the deep end and just hope he's good enough. 
And throughout pre-season, he's been doing a job for us, so I'm very, very happy. Marco Hoffman, who was signed in January from Bayern Munich, free transfer, free star current ability, five star potential ability. I mean, you can't go wrong with a player from Bayern for free, especially a left back that's going to get in your side. Ivan Illich, free signing, free transfer from Manchester City, three and a half star current ability, four star potential. He's a 23 year old Serbian under 21 capped player. He's never been capped for the senior side, but maybe that'll change whilst being at us. But at Man City, I don't think he actually got to play a game. Nope, he was just loaned out a lot. So yeah, he signed for them for £2 million. They just loaned him out a load. Didn't loan him out. Oh, he played one game for City, sorry. I've just noticed there. But yeah, um, I mean, I really like him. I think he's a good little player to have around the place. Roberto Massimo, another player we brought in for a free transfer. Three and a half star current ability, four star potential. He came in from Sassuolo, was it? No, he came in from Bayer Leverkusen. and he was on loan to Sassuolo last season. He impressed me. I looked at him in January and I had to bring him in. So, very, very nice little addition to our side. Charlie Gregory came in free transfer from Tottenham Hotspur. Obviously, he's gone out on loan now to Tramir. We won't get into him too much. Alessi, we all know about him. We had him at MK Dons. We brought him in as a backup player. Just an extra defender to have around the place. He's a very good little player to have. Two and a half star current ability. Three and a half star potential. Could be decent to have. Shaquille Howell, just some youth player that was brought in. One and a half star current ability. Two and a half star potential. I didn't do this move. You know who did this move? Michael Fakrai. Now, this is a move that my former director of football did. And uh, he's a two and a half star current ability, four star potential player from Sheffield United. He looks very good, you know. Uh, Sheffield made a no nice little profit on him. We signed him for £1.9 million. He's definitely going to get into the side eventually. That could rise to 2.6. Pete Dearest, you know, remember him. We all remember Pete Dearest from MK Dons when we had him. But we loaned him in from Newcastle. He's not quite the same player anymore. He's three star current ability, four and a half star potential. He may not actually get in the first team. I don't know yet. Um, we'll get to the big money sign in a minute. You might see him there. But now Timothy Tillman coming from, what's that club? Arminia Bielfeld, formerly of Bayern Munich. He looks a good little addition to have around the place. He's a three star current ability, three and a half star potential. He's just another player that can play on the wings for us. And I'm very happy with him for two and a half million pounds. Then we went and signed Anthony Alanga on, on a free transfer again for Manchester United. I mean, he's he's a two and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential. It was more of a panic buy, but you know, he's he's here now, we we got him. Danny Olmo, four point one million pounds signing from Las Palmas. Twenty-six year old, capped at under twenty one interna uh, twenty under-21 internationals, uh, he's a th three and a half star current ability, four star potential ability, he probably won't reach that to be honest, since he's 26 already, but he's a good little player to have around the place, didn't cost me a bomb either. Then Ian Cotton, Cotton? Ian Cotton, two and a half star current ability, five star potential, he's just come in on loan, just for an extra body around the place, capped at under-19 international, he was the top scorer in League One last season, Riverwatch Rochdale, and uh, it caught my eye, really. 18 goals and 37 appearances. And that, to me, that's quite good. Quite a good return rate. So I just brought him in, give him a chance if we need him. And he'll come into the side. Calvin Phillips signed one of our big money signings. Signed for 11 and a half, well, 11.75 million pounds from Leeds United. He looks very, very good. Very decent player to have around the place. He was at Leeds his whole career. For 10 years there before we've picked him up at Norwich. And uh, yeah, I think he could do bits for us this season. Three star current ability, three star potential. He won't grow, but he's a good player to have around the place. And I'm more than happy to bring him in. Then we got Billy Coleman from Liverpool. Free, well, he's a technically a free transfer, sort of. 41.5k paid for him. He is a two star current ability, five star potential. Centre back. Uh, from England as well because we needed a few English players so it's fine to ni nice to bring him in then we got Joe Brogman or Brogman however you want to say this one and a half star current ability four and a half star potential 
yeah, he's he's all right. I mean, he might get into a goal at some point in his career if he's lucky. Nicholas Raskin, let's get on to him. A Belgian under. Oh, he's capped at senior level. I didn't realise that. Belgium senior level capped player, four star current ability, four star potential. He's just here for the bodies, really. We need an extra body in midfield, and he's about. Now let's get on to Inigo Gonzalez. Inigo Gonzalez, Inigo Gonzalez, however you want to say that. We bring him in from Ibar. I think it was from Ibar he was signed. Oh no, he was on loan from I to Ibar last season. Scored 19 goals in 41 appearances. Quite impressed with that. But formerly of Valencia. Looks a good little player, three and a half star current ability, five star potential. He's cost us ten million pounds, and I think he could be a big part of our side going forward this season. So now, if we get into team selection for today's game, I'm just going to double check it in my head before we go in. Make sure everybody's in that needs to be in. I think so. So let's submit the side. If the game decides it likes to submit the side. Apparently Illich is going to be the captain on his debut today because we don't have either captain Moore or um, Bidwell in the lineup for today's squad. But that's fine, we can live with that. Just having a look now. So for today's away from home game here at Bournemouth Stadium. Don't know why it's called that, I thought it was a Vitality Stadium, but it's the Bournemouth Stadium nowadays. We got Rosalde in goal, back for Sanley, Cuenca, Indica and Hoffman. Making Hoffman and Rosaldo making their debuts there in the defence. Illich making his debut in the CDM role. Doyle Hayes partnering a debut on of Kevin Calvin Phillips, sorry, with Ribeiro, with Barrow? yeah, Ribeiro, Magoob, and Massimo making his debut there as well. I'm hoping the side will be strong enough to get a good result against a very very strong side here of Bournemouth. Let's just say, go out there and impress me. We're at the start of the season, we won't bother saying too much to them. Go out there and impress me, we'll do enough for me. And we get the game underway. Hopefully we can get a nice early goal. And yeah, if you guys didn't catch the last few episodes of last season, we are playing in 2D now because it does go a lot quicker for my computer. And it's a lot more manageable. So we're just, we're just uh, trying this out. I think I'll be able to upload more videos, more a lot quicker as well guys doing it like this in 2D Rosalde into Cuenca can we work one from the back Cuenca into Doyle Hayes Doyle Hayes forward to Mas Massimo I will, I'll have to learn some of these names as we go Sanley good ball into the middle Magoob just wide but yeah some of these names I'm going to have to learn over time I mean they'll take some getting used to to say I'll probably call them their old players names that was in that position before but <laughs> we'll get better over time Lindsay, good save by Rosalde. The 18-year-old Paraguayan player is getting his debut in the championship. I mean, I could have put in the record record uh, clean sheet holder from last season, Dombosk, who he did break the record, 22 clean sheets last season. But I did think it was time to bring in a youth player, like somebody young. If he's playing at the club as well, he'll get to be... A player trained at Norwich as well before uh, uh, 21 years old is it under 21 and then he'll be eligible if we stay at Norwich and make it into Europe which will be ideal so let's go now to assertively we've been the better team keep doing what you're doing and we'll be fine I'm also gonna go for a collective team talk we're gonna go assertively you want that ballast I think you can improve I have faith in you Let's do this. Get into the second half. Nothing's happened in that first half, but we're going into the second half now. With the hope we can score a goal, maybe? Fingers crossed. I, I hope so anyway, because so far this game has been dull. Uh, nothing's happening. We're going to make a sub now on the 60th minute. Absolutely nothing's happened in this game. It's time to bring on some new players. Inigo Gonzalez can come on. For Ribeiro. And Gonzalez is more of a complete forward. So let's try it out. Let's try him in the complete forward with the inside forwards just coming at him. Let's see what that does. Um, we can also bring on... Who can we bring on here? Who's not having a good game? Probably everybody. But okay, we'll just make one change for now. We'll bring on the complete forward. Have the 
other players doing their roles for now and just work on that in a moment. Right, we'll make another change. Nothing is changing here. It seems a very, very dull as dishwater game. Not a lot we can do about it. We're trying our very best to change something. Uh, yeah, we'll put Gonzalez out there now for a little bit because I want to learn him to be an inside forward. That would be great. We're going to bring off Magoob. Bring on Dennis Brooks, who was on loan to Derby County last season. And to be honest, he looks good enough to be in our side for this season. So he's going to get in. And we'll also bring on Timothy Tillman, maybe, for Doyle Hayes. No, that one won't work. Reese Mitchell. I'm learning who can play in what position, guys. It's, it's going to take me some getting used to. Uh, can Illich play there? No. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that, I think. Hold on, we'll just undo it a few times. Undo again. Undo. Doyle Hayes. I think Olmo can play there, actually. Oh, I'm wrong. We'll, we'll just take Massimo off and bring on Olmo in the right wing position and just hope that he can, you know, sort of do something. Create something, give me some sort of creative spark down that side, because right now this game has been dull. Come on, we need something, some sort of highlight. Come on, please, please anybody. Please, we've changed all three attackers, and we're still not breaking anyone down. And Dika wins that ball beautifully. It's to Brooks. Olmo, in behind. Gonzalez! Yes! Inigo Gonzalez with the goal, puts us 1-0 up. And he scores on his debut the £10 million signing that I wasn't really sure about bringing in when I signed him. Good assist there by Danny Olmo. And wan could not deal with Gonzalez. And he got in behind. And it is 1-0 Norwich. Come on, lads. Please, hold on. Please, it'll be nice to win our first game of the season against a really, really strong Bournemouth team. Illich clears it away. And we do win. Come on, lads. Nice little 1-0 victory. We come away happy from this game and we're going to say passionately, nice victory, well done. Good way to start the season. Start as we mean to go on and the Ipswich manager seemed to think we were favourite for a relegation. He's not very clever, is he? I will show you the season preview very quickly because I was meant to do that before. We are second favourite to go up this season behind relegated Newcastle. So it should be a very, very interesting season for us. Actually, what did that... Media 11 show. It shows Raskin who didn't play in that game for us. Yeah, he might get involved at some point, but he was away on international duty, so wasn't available for selection today. But let's just have a look now where you'll be rejoining us for the next episode. I would say either Leeds or Derby. Um, Leeds or Derby, guys. Uh, probably Der Let's go Derby so we can try and advance through this championship season as quick as we can. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're new around here, please subscribe for more. And if you enjoyed this, leave a like. And I've been Chris12LFC. And I'll see you later.